Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today we are summoning for the new LR Super Boo that just dropped on JP. Now, like I said, when this guy first got announced, I would have been a little bit more hyped if it was an LR Kid Boo instead of Super Boo, but that's not to say I'm not excited for this guy. I mean, it's still a summonable LR Boo unit, which is not something we get a lot in this game. In fact, the only other one we've ever seen was the uh, transforming Boo tanks, right, from the Worldwide Celebration, like three, four years ago. So definitely still happy about this guy, and uh, we are going to summon. Now, before we jump in, let me just quickly take a look at the banner here. We have, of course, the new Super Boo. Uh, love the pose, <laughs> by the way, for this SSR. And then we have uh, LR Janemba, not bad. We have LR Super 17, he's okay, I would say. And then, uh, okay, a couple of random SSRs, well, Boo Saga SSRs, or uh, Boo-related SSRs. And that's pretty much it. So in total, that's like, what, seven SSRs on the banner? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven SSRs, three featured LRs. So a pretty standard uh, legendary summon banner. I wouldn't say it's too bad. It's not good either. It's just kind of, it's all right. It's an all right banner, which is kind of crazy to think about because a couple of years ago, legendary summon banners only used to feature one LR, right? So... We've definitely come a long way. We've come a long way. Okay, so with all that said, let's uh, jump into the summon. Uh, I'm planning to do like six multis just because I don't think this banner is that good. Okay, maybe we do one multi. Maybe we just do one multi, call it a day, pull our super boo, and then just save the rest of our stones. We'll see. Okay, so <laughs> we are getting an LR, that's for sure. Let's make this a group summon. Let's get it, guys. In three, two, one. Let it rip. Okay, starting off with an LR. I like this banner already. I like this banner already. Now, I do think on this account, I already have the Janemba. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Who is very, very bad right now. But, you know... He'll eventually get that Extreme Z Awakening, so I'm I'm gonna just dash him for now because I do not see myself using him for anything at this point in time. But once he gets that Extreme Z Awakening, that man's gonna be a monster, so uh, that's fine. That That is a totally fine pull. And if you guys have been around for a while, you would know that the uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, the LR Super Saiyan 3, has... A special place in my heart because when this guy came out on global uh, several years ago I wanted him so bad he was like the one unit I was chasing on like any banner possible right like obviously when his banner first came out I spent a ton of stones didn't get him and then whenever those like type banners those like tech type like support banners came out I would spend a bunch of stones just to try to pull this guy and it just didn't happen for me for like a year and a half, right? And my girlfriend would pull like three copies within the first few months of playing. And that really pissed me off. And that was like a meme on the channel for a while. So uh, long story short, long story short, uh, I'm glad I got him easy on, on this account. So there you go. Super Saiyan 3 Goku, two multis in. Nothing else to be really excited about. I mean, this Aider is actually very good, so I'll take that. I don't have the Kid Goku, though, so we do need to get him to uh, get the most out of that Aider. Oh, uh, one thing I wanted to discuss as we did these summons, and hopefully we rewind, maybe. We'll see. Oh, I, I like that. I like that. Yo, usually the Whis rewind starts you off with, like, oh, never mind. Okay, I was going to say, <laughs> starts you off with, like, a bit of a tease right like they, they'll give you like a super saiyan 1 animation or a base goku with like no screen crack whatever and then you get that always rewind so it's like they make you think we're getting some trash and then you get the new unit didn't happen here but i'm just saying um right, one thing i did want to talk about is uh this discussion that's been going around the 
community a little bit recently, right? Which is the idea of like, do we need these yellow coin, gold coin units or these LRs anymore, right? Because I actually really like this Boo unit. I think the Super Boo is actually quite good. I don't think he's super, super broken, but he is very good in my opinion. But his leader skill is very... I mean, by today's standards, it's bad, right? It's 150%. And the question is like, do we still need 150% leaders when we have 200% Carnival Summon LRs, right? I just feel like, you know, with the introduction of Carnival Summon LRs, who provide 200% to a certain category, um, we should just phase out these gold coin LRs, right? And you can say like, that's kind of what they've been doing, right? That's kind of what they've been doing. Um, uh, I mean, at least based on recent memory. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was the LR Golden Frieza. It's, it's not. Um, but yeah, just uh, based on my memory of recent releases, I feel like we're not getting as many gold coin LRs as we used to, right? It's like been been quite a few months since our last gold coin LR. So I guess maybe that is what they're doing. They might just have a backlog of these like 150% leads, right? That they want to get done with releasing. And then once those are, you know, released, right? Then we won't see them anymore. I think that's probably the future of the game where like we only see either Dokkan Fest units that provide 170% and then an additional additional 30% to like units in specific categories, right? So basically 200% leaders and then just straight up 200% leaders for the Carnival Summon LRs. I think that's the direction we're trending in. So I feel like, yo, another LR. Yo, we're getting some mad old LRs. We're pulling LRs, which is great, but these are, these are not the ones we want. <laughs> They're definitely not the ones we want. I mean, LR Trunks, even with an Extreme Z Awakening, is uh, not not the greatest. He's not the greatest. We need to get those like double Extreme Z Awakenings going at some point, because a lot of these older EZAs are getting phased out very quickly. Um, let's do like two or three more multis, I think. I'm not counting, so I actually have no idea how many I've done, but... Ooh, maybe like a few? No. No fusion there. Possibly a Wii's Rewind this time. That would be awesome. <sighs> Never mind. Um, oh yeah, so yeah. Definitely don't need gold coin LRs anymore. 150% is just nothing. right? We don't need main banner units providing only 150%. I mean, it's not nothing. Like, don't get me wrong. It, it's, it's still usable. It's still good, but... I mean, that additional 50% for the 200% leaders is a massive, massive difference, right? So, um, yeah, we definitely, you know, need to stop getting 150% leaders when they're like the main units. If we're talking about like a side unit, I feel like, I feel like side banner units now should be getting 150% and then everyone else gets the 170 plus 30 or the 200%. So I think that's going to happen soon. Um, gold coin LRs are probably not going to be around for much longer, at least new ones, right? Um, and then I guess at that point, they would just combine the gold coin and the uh, green coin or teal coin, or whatever it's called now. I don't really know what the most popular name for the carnival coin is, but I think they'll probably, probably just combine the, uh, you know, uh, carnival coin and gold coin pools, most likely, right? That would make the most sense. So, um, yeah, that's my opinion. Let me know how you guys feel about it. Let me know what your thoughts are on. I mean, I would, I would find it like pretty hard to believe people would disagree with that, with that thought process, right? Because like, who wants to have worse leader skills, <laughs> right? And I think it's gonna benefit like a lot of newer players too, right? Because like they don't have a lot of leaders for all these categories, right? So when they like pull, I'm saying right a lot, I just realized. I said right like 10 times in the last 30 seconds. It's a bad habit, I'm trying to fix it. Um, but yeah, for newer players, if they can get 200% leaders instead of these 150% leaders, then they'll be able to build stronger teams as well and you know, fare better in some of the harder events in the game, even though you're not supposed to be able to beat the hardest events in the beginning, that's obviously the case. Like they don't want you to be able to clear everything 
when you start, they want you to build up your teams to be able to challenge some of the harder bands like Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road, Red Zone, so on and so forth. But um, it would be nice if like all new leaders that newer players go for are actually 200% and can build some stronger teams that way. Okay, so with all that said, <laughs> let's make this one final multi, guys. I haven't even been paying attention. I've been too focused on this 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 should have this should have just been like a discussion video honestly i probably should have done like a separate summoning video and a discussion video but um we combined it into one it just all blended together you can we give me some panties at least i want some I got some panties okay oh there we go panties we get another i was gonna say can we get another lr we are gonna get another lr can we get kid boo though no sorry we can't get kid boo can we get super boo can we get Super Boo? <sighs> I'm not gonna hold my breath for it, but it's gonna be an LR. It could be. It could be him. We have a decent chance. Oh. Okay. Goku and Frieza. I'm not sure if I have them, so I, I'm, I'm not sure how excited I'm supposed to get over this pull right now. But a good pull. A good, good pull. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, no, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to do one more. <laughs> I'm going to do one more. Let's just see uh, if there's anything left on this banner for us. Maybe a fusion. No. Okay. Well, that um, was probably a bad call. But at the very least, at the very least, uh, I, I stayed true to my word from the past, which is you don't stop on an LR. If you pull an LR, you gotta do one more multi just to make sure you've used up all the good RNG, right? So this, that looks like that 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 looks like uh, all we're getting here. So uh, I'm I'm gonna call it there, guys. Okay, uh, we're not getting Super Boo today. Not a surprise, you know, you can't get everything, can't get them all. He'll be back, we'll, we'll get him somehow. Okay, maybe just one more. Maybe, maybe just one final one, right? That's gonna be 500 stones. That's a lot more than I was planning to spend. And that's a lot more than I should have spent, clearly. So, there you have it. That is the summoning video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Best of luck on your summons. Hopefully, they're they're gonna go better than mine. I'm, I mean, I pulled some LRs, I pulled some LRs, but most of them are like five years old. So you can't get too excited about that. But nonetheless, we didn't walk away with nothing. We didn't walk away with nothing, which is something that happens a lot when I summon on global. So. I'm not upset about it, man. I'm not upset about it. There you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. That is the summoning video. Um, let me just go back to the summon screen real quick. Go back to the banner as we sign off. Here we go. Guys, thank you for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.